Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and I want to give you guys a quick little love reading for each sign. So I'm going to go down each sign and tell you what I'm going to get for you guys. So it'll be three cards. It'll be an oracle, then I'll be clarified by two tarot, okay? Uh, please make sure to like and follow me here on Instagram, Moon Girl Tarot More. You can also follow me on my sister one, Moon Girl Horror. And um, you can also follow me on my YouTube, same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. And I recently remade my Facebook like page, same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. Feel free to follow me there as well. The new one has my face as a profile, so you don't get confused with the old ones, okay? So I'm going to start off with Aquarius, of course. So what I do have here with Aquarius is it is safe for you to love. And it's clarified... By the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so honestly, guys, I do feel that you definitely have your guard up here, Aquarius. So, yeah, I mean, you've been burned in the past before. I do feel like people want to come in, but they kind of see you as a little bit standoffish. All right, you're making it a little difficult for them, Aquarius, okay? So, yeah, I feel like people want to break down these walls, but they see you as, like, having them up. All right? Now we're going to move forward to Libra. We have... Pay attention to red flags. Okay. Clarified by the nine of swords in reverse. And the magician upright. Okay, so what I'm getting here is in the past, maybe you weren't paying attention to the red flags. They were right there. But, you know, sometimes love is blind. It happens. Um, I feel though you've been uh, aware of things now. You've been made aware. You see things for what they are now. You may be seeing this person as someone who is a bit of a liar, a manipulator, okay, with the magician. And mind you guys, these can be vice versa energies. If it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with, okay, or someone in your surroundings. So take it how it resonates, okay? Now we're going to move forward to Gemini. Gemini, we have past life relationships in reverse, clarified by the King of Wands upright and the Three of Wands upright. Okay, so to be honest, I feel like this is somebody from the past here. Um, this person might have gotten a lot of attention here. You might be at a distance from this person either geographically or emotionally. Somebody here might be thinking about reaching out, okay? Um, I'm not too sure how you might receive this. I honestly, I, can't, I kind of feel like someone here is waiting on someone to reach out, okay? So that's what I have for um, Gemini. Now let's move forward to the water signs, Cancer. We do have a very soon here, clarified by the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. To be honest, I feel like someone here is still holding on to you or vice versa, energetically, okay? Like something you guys had together, um, this connection. I kind of feel like somebody here, you guys are not talking or there's little to no communication here. Um, I also feel like there could have been an age difference. It doesn't have to be by much. If there wasn't an age difference, this could just be that somebody here was a bit immature. But they are definitely keeping an eyeball on you, okay? So I do feel like this person's definitely watching your social medias. If they have you blocked or you have them blocked, rest assured there's a fake profile out there. Or um, they're asking about you, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, they're still very curious about you. Like I said, they're still holding on to your energy here. Let's move forward to Pisces. Pisces, we have codependency and it's in reverse, which I'm so happy to see that Pisces. Finally, yes. Um, this is to me like the devil card. So it's in reverse. So you're trying to let go of anything that's binding, toxic, toxic connections, toxic situations. You might have had a very toxic connection here uh, with this person. Um, there could have been a marriage. There could have been a higher commitment. There could have been children involved. Um, I feel like somebody here is trying to leave this toxic connection. Because shit has already hit the fan before, and you're trying to avoid this, okay? I feel like, okay, you know what? I'm going to intuit. I intuitively feel that I'm going to rock the boat. I need to let go of this stuff and move forward here with codependency in reverse. So again, um, over... Over-rely on somebody either emotionally, physically, financially. This could be um, substance abuse, alcohol, even sex addiction, whatever the case may be, anything that's toxic. I see you wanting to move forward and release it. So thank you, Pisces. I'm happy for you. Scorpio, we have wedding in reverse. Off the bat, there could be a separation if there hasn't been yet. Yeah, because we do have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So to me, it's cutting something out, cutting um, a connection out that no longer serves you. To me, I honestly feel that somebody here is a bit in committal, especially with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So somebody could be viewing you as um, very upset 
or vice versa. You could be viewing this person as very upset, someone who gets a lot of attention, someone here who can be um, a bit of a bitch. I'm going to be real. But um, yeah, so this is what I have. So remember, this can be vice versa energy. Either you're viewing this person this way or they're viewing you this way. Okay. Let's move forward to the earth signs. We have Capricorn here. So we have you deserve love and it's in reverse. And clarified by the seven of pentacles, clarified by the five of cups. Okay, off the bat, guys, I feel like somebody here feels a lot of guilt. I feel they feel guilty and they feel like unworthy of true love. In the past, they might have... Um, I feel like in the past, they might have not made the best choices in love. Like they knew they had a for sure thing, but they strayed hoping that the grass would be greener on the other side. Like I always say, guys, the grass is not always greener. All that glitters isn't gold. It's just a what? Motherfucking Snapchat filter. Yes, that's right. So they might have like had this one gold coin here. And they're like, I know where I stand here, but what if I go to this other side? Lady Luck will be on my side and I can find six more pentacles. And um, they might have put a lot of work in a situation here with the seven of pentacles. And it didn't quite work out the way it was. So they might feel a lot of um, disappointments in that. Regret, remorse. But remember, there's still two cups here, guys. If you just turn around, okay, not all is lost. All right. So let's move forward to the Taurus. Taurus, we have true love here. Okay, clarified by the devil card in reverse, which I do like it in reverse, and then the four of wands. So, I feel like honestly, you're trying to avoid any type of bullshit. You know, you're trying to let go of anything that's toxic, binding. You want true love now. You're ready for a commitment. You know, you want this happy ending, the four, uh, the eleven eleven card. You know what I mean? So, some of you, to be honest, you can be meeting your true. Um, twin flame or some sort of soul tie with somebody very soon okay guys so i do see that coming in you will have some sort of victory when it comes to love or you might feel like you just met the person of your life let's move forward to virgo express your love and it's upright clarified by the four of cups upright and the knight of cups upright okay so Somebody here may not be expressing how they truly feel about you, um, or vice versa. Take it how it resonates, guys, uh, with the Four of Cups, okay? So I kind of feel like somebody here might be holding out, or was holding out, to see, again, the grass, if the grass was greener, waiting if something better would come along. However, I feel like they've come to their senses, and they're ready to make some sort of effort towards you and offer you this cup of love, or vice versa, okay, guys? Let's move forward to the fiery fire signs. And we do have Leo. We have, this could be the one, clarify, upright, clarified by the Six of Cups, reverse, clarified by the Two of Cups, upright. Okay, so honestly, I feel like somebody from the past definitely wants to come back in here, wants to reach out. You, however, may not have the best memories of this person, okay? Um, there could have been a lot of ups and downs. But for a while there, you could have thought that this person really was the love of your life. So I do feel them wanting to reach out. But I see you being guarded with the Two of Cups. See how she's guarding her heart? There'll be a lot of confusion here. This, the moon is there. This um, connection makes you feel very emotional. There's a lot of water here. So it's really going to be up to you whether you decide to have this person or not back into your life. Okay, Leo? Let's move forward to Sagittarius. Release your ex in reverse. So some of you definitely are releasing your ex. You're trying to get clarity here because um, there was deception. There was lies. There was a lot of confusion in this connection. And you're being guided to heal yourself. So some of you are definitely healing yourself. It's kind of ironic. We have the moon and the star. That's funny. Um, moon or stars could be of significance here. Some of you could be dealing with Aquarius or Cancer. It doesn't have to be. That's just what the cards represent. But yeah, I feel like you're releasing this ex. You're getting some clarity, some closure, and you're healing yourself. So very good. Let's move forward to Aries. Playfulness. Of course you got playfulness, Aries. <laughs> I do see a big transformation with a death card. There could be a Scorpio of significance. doesn't have to be. Um, and then we do have the world as well. So a big metamorphosis moving forward. Uh, starting something new here, which I love, okay? Ending old chapter, starting something new. I feel like you're ready for a new relationship, to be honest. So overall, this is pretty good. I'm going to throw some shells, guys, just because we haven't done it in a hot minute. And let's see what we get. Ooh, that's a lot of messages. Okay, and I'm glad I'm doing this towards the beginning of the year so you guys can take note of what comes out. If you're wondering about something, 
The answer would be not right now. April could definitely be a month of significance, guys. Ooh, there's definitely somebody here hating on you. I think it's just jealousy, to be honest. You could be doing something here um, where eyes are definitely on you and people may not be happy about that. February could definitely be a month of significance. Um, somebody could be an Aquarius, which we did get there as well. I do see a few obstacles in the way, but however, I feel like you're going to overpass them, overcome them. I'm sorry. Yes, I, I told you there's a secret hater here. Yeah, somebody here is definitely wearing a false mask. This could be in any kind of relationship, friendship, uh, family, friends, business partner. So just keep an eyeball. You're definitely in for some surprises. At least two. They could be in areas of significance. You can have a new chart. They can have a new chart. Pisces as well. There could be a Pisces of significance. August might be a month of significance for you. Also Leo. Okay, but I do see a really great surprise here coming towards you. It's going to be like a golden opportunity here, like handed to you from the gods. If this isn't an actual physical thing, it could be like a spiritual thing, like from the 5D, like something you've been wanting and manifesting, praying for. So this is beautiful. Virgo's coming out very strongly here as well. Yes, I do feel like somebody here from the past wants to come forward. I feel like they feel a lot of remorse, regret over something. Spirit wants you to keep the faith or the name faith could be of significance. Family is going to be definitely an issue here. Um, I feel like I have to say keep an eye on your family or someone in your family. Look, somebody here needs you. And uh, I feel like somebody here feels lost or lonely, lost without you. Yeah, I do feel someone's playing some sort of mind game here with you or will be playing some sort of mind game here with you. July could be a month of significance as well. April looks like that to me as well. Could definitely be a Sagittarius of significance. Travel. Travel is going to be a big one for some of you guys, honestly. I feel like some of you guys are going to travel. It doesn't even have to be anywhere far away, but I do feel that there will be a lot of traveling going on. Okay, so take that how it resonates. Uh, it's going to be like work related. Okay, guys, you could be trying to travel. Someone here still is very fond of you, still thinking about you. Somebody from the past that you might have cut ties with. Or this could be you. Cancer, somebody here could be feeling very emotional as well. Yeah, definitely somebody here feels emotional. Okay, what is this? Um, please be careful who you let in your energy, guys, because I feel like there is somebody who's like a secret hater here, which I did get a lot of last year as well uh, on the readings, okay? So I feel like there's somebody who's kind of close to you, and you think they're here for you, but I feel like they're secretly like jealous of you in, uh, for some reason, okay, guys? And for a lot of you, honestly, I do feel people walking away here uh, from situations that no longer serve them, okay? Overall there. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope this reading was at least some help. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it. I so would appreciate it so much. Oh, hey, guys. Sorry, I just saw this. Hi. Hey, G. Robin. How are you? Robin. Earth. I think that's the name. I'm sorry. Trying to say hi to all y'all. Hey. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Hey, Fari. Thank you. I appreciate those kind words. Twenty leap play? <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Robin. You always look beautiful. So anyways, guys, I'm sending you lots of love. Please make sure to head over there to my other pages, my other Instagram, this Instagram, my YouTube, and um, love you so much. Thank you for liking my hair. <laughs> Bye, guys. And as always, stay magical.